Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Today we'll be building this hay storage. The idea is to put a couple of bales here to have them accessible and then put one of the metal garbage, tin garbage <laughs> cans. <laughs> this is the sweetest thing I've ever seen in my life. I love you baby rocks. I love you baby rocks. And so there's a bunch of building materials and tools and they won't leave you alone while you're working. You're pretty much involved in the process. Including the three three boy with name me Baby Rocks. Baby Rocks is sweet and dookie dook. Hi dookie dook. Hi three boy. Duke was very skittish since day one. And now he's getting a little bit more friendly, but we had to basically grab him and, you know, snuggle with him, kiss him. And now he comes right to us and uh, he demands to be petted and he demands to be loved. If you're sitting down, <laughs> oh, he's pooping. If you're sitting down, he'll come and chew, you know, you're close. To have you pay attention but he is not as needy as this guy right here I mean I can never get a good shot of him because he's always <laughs> by my legs wanting pets and he stays like for the longest time I mean he won't and he'll fall asleep while you pet him he is so sweet so, so sweet. <laughs> he closes his eyes. You have an eye under there. Hello. And see, Duke is more playful. He wants to chew on things. He wants to jump on things. And he has that little hoppity hop. Rocky, not so much. You're a little chubby boy. All he cares is about eating and eating. And have I mentioned eating? Although he looks massive because of the zoom of the camera, but he, he is such a sweet boy. You can keep him in your lap for hours and he just let you. And he's healthy, he eats, he drinks, he plays, but he's very, very chill. And he is very human friendly. You see, he's chewing the cud, is that what they call it? He's not eating, but he's so relaxed. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Such a sweet boy. I can't believe he's a buck. I hope he stays, you know, this sweet after his hormones and everything. The real training started once he lost interest in the goats. Once he realized that they were part of the family and that they were here to stay. So we let him go around the fence play with the puppy and that way the goats could get close whenever they felt safe. He kind of stayed in the area as you can see around the fence but this fence gave them uh, the goats a sense of security so even though he was not a threat when they felt afraid they would just run towards their house. If anything, they were rather curious and they wanted to get close to also to kind of see what he was up to. 
Sometimes they would keep their distance, and some other times uh, the you know the curiosity got the best of them. They started to get closer and closer, and kind of see what he was up to and why he wasn't as interested in checking them out. There were some other times when he tried to get close, wag his tail, expecting them to get close to smell them, but. It was kind of a stare contest, and nobody really got close enough because, as you can see, he's a huge dog and a little intimidating to them. Also, wasn't always a farm dog. He was actually a city dog, so it takes time, at least for him, to get used to new animals. He. After this time, graduated to the next step, which is going into the adjacent fence. That's where we keep the ducks. That's where we keep the bunny, and he, everyone feels safe around him because he really ignores them and just cares about them when he feels there is a threat around. And the goats had a chance to kind of keep an eye on him. And he was able to keep an eye on them as well. Hi, hi, my rocky boy. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, Mocha. Hi, Mama. Hi, sweet, sweet, sweet girl. Hi, hello. Hi, Annabelle. Hi, Annie. Hi, Mommy. Hi, sweet, sweet girl. You have a big belly, boy. Big belly, boy. I do that's a belly. Your real belly is eh, hard. And then it was graduation day, and he's inside the pen. As you can see, his hair. Boca is keeping a close eye on him because she likes to snuggle too, and he kind of took her place. He was playing with hope, and one of his paws—I don't know—something happened. So that day he was extra needy. Don't worry, he's doing fine, running around. Nothing was broken. He's just a big dog, and sometimes he hurts himself. Now, as I mentioned, we got him while we were living in the city, so he is learning. Because he has the instinct to protect us and everything in our house, and as you can see, graduation went well. <laughs> My girls, hi, sweet mama. Hi, hi, sweet, 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 sweet girl. Look at the belly of yours, mama. Baby, they're here. Can I feel for babies again? Would you let me feel for them? No? You're down? Hi, mommy. Hi, mama. Hi. Baby Annabelle. Baby Annabelle. You want to be brushed, girl? You want to be brushed? Get a brush for a girl. Oh, there comes your sister, the big pregnant girl. He still gets jealous. And Annabelle and Mocha do not trust him. Just yet. But for the most part, everyone is pretty happy with a new family member. That, in my opinion, is just the cutest boy ever. Big boy baby.